Today's red flag screen covered a variety of topics that hopefully would have been very useful for general practitioners. Uh, we included things like skin cancer, diarrhoea, tired all the time, which can be topics that GPs can find quite challenging. Popular presentations, which, which in a very few cases can have serious outcomes, and it's things like that that don't want to be missed by GPs. Hopefully as, today, as a result of today's lectures, they'll feel a bit more confident in managing this. Things are moving so quickly, not only in respiratory but in all therapeutic areas. Changes are, occur very, very rapidly and in order to keep updated with what's going on and see what's coming down the line in the future, coming to this sort of thing to refresh your knowledge of what you already know but also to see what's coming in the future is extremely helpful and keeps you on your toes and keeps you abreast of all the, common, uh, the, the new developments which are occurring. I came along to talk about red flags in um, ovarian cancer and how not to miss them um, to help my GP colleagues with uh, easier diagnosis of ovarian cancer. Um, I've been to one of the MIMS courses before, um, found it very good um, and uh, covered quite a wide spectrum of GP um, topics um, and uh, this programme particularly with red flags I thought was particularly pertinent to practice and we've had a recent case in our practice which um, uh, caused me to kind of review the red flags and um, uh, not wanting to uh, miss things. So I had my colleagues advised me that this would be a great event to attend and the list of speakers encouraged me that yes it would be a good choice to come today and so far I haven't been disappointed it's been excellent. All the sessions were really really brilliant yeah they were really really good. This year is improved a lot because there was a lot of case studies so you could relate the topics to real life scenario so which stays with you and then you can take it back to practice.